Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, here we are. We finally made it. <laughs> all the places I used to go whenever I was young, they're all history. They've got water bars. They got houses. They got gates. They got signs and posted and trespassing. No trespassing everywhere you go. There's just no going back. So, I came down here to the Washita National Forest where I grew up. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been here. I was probably 13 when I was here last. Me and Justice came in the dark. <laughs> it was interesting trying to find a spot in the dark and get set up, but we did it. As usual, half cocked, half prepared. I grabbed the wrong charge cord. Uh, part of my stuff wasn't charged fully. <laughs> We're going to make do though. We're going to get you a YouTube video like I promised. Anyways, I'm going to switch over to the other side here and show you around. I hate finding litter in, in the middle of the woods. I will be picking up all the trash around the campsite that was there when I got there. Taking it with me too. Every place I ever camp will be better off when I leave, not worse. What a beautiful day. I don't know where this road goes. Never been down this one before. We're just gonna walk it a ways and see. It's not a main road of any kind. Justice enjoying his self. He's a happy boy get to go for a walk. Got all this marked to be control cut. Somebody's trash back there again. Terrible. Pick up your trash, people. When you when you leave somewhere, pick up your trash. Don't throw it on the ground. Timber harvest boundary. Hate seeing them cut these little big trees. I thought we might come to another campground back here that's easy accessible way off of the road, but my health I don't need to be too far off. So I need to be accessible. Okay, Justice, don't go so far. 
stay close. I'm still here. <laughs> Justice isn't used to this anymore. It's been a while. It looks like this goes down and then back up again. Some more trash. Somebody been down here drinking and throwing their garbage around. Doesn't appear to be a campsite. Just somebody sat out here partying. All right, Jess, let's go back. Let's go back. We couldn't get the Mustang in here anyways. Come on. Yeah, there's no way we'll get the car in here anyway. We're starting to get into some pretty big mud holes. Wouldn't want to take no chance of the weather. This one's working. <laughs> I think we're recording now. I have to get a better camera system. I really need a GoPro. A spare battery. And solar. <laughs> I need a lot. <laughs> Just for the video and though. The whole point of this is to need less, but these days we need more. <laughs> uh, later I'll show you my secret weapon fire starter, turpentine wood. light with that in light you can see through it you can see the turpentine the color in it Had what I assume was a bear roam through the camp last night. I heard it. Could hear it breathing and almost a growl, a huff as it walked through. Didn't stop. We didn't have anything out to entice it. The meat was locked away in the trunk, sealed. fire going. It was dying down but it was still going. Just raised up and looked at me. I looked at him. We just sat there for a minute. He went on and we went back to sleep. <coughs> Apologize for not having everything set up where I could get a video of it. Would have been pretty cool. Maybe sometime when Jess ain't gonna be here. All I needed was to go after a bear. 
<laughs> yes, he does. You would, huh? You would take him on. You're a good boy. <laughs> Looks like a lot of water in this so called organic gas fed beef. I ain't sure how <laughs> it's about this. I figured that one well fast it out. Maybe I still will. off your cans, burn your plastics and papers, and your food papers and plastics. Burn them the best you can before you go to bed. Don't give anything out to entice animals. I'm not as worried about the bears, although it's, here it is December and they're, they think it's springtime, I guess, still. sitting here in a t-shirt and around the fire it's a little warm. It was exceptionally warm last night as well. Our body temperature in that little tent kept it pretty bearable in there all night. Even after the fire went out. We toasted it until the fire went out. We're fixing to do away with the skeletons that these on the damn grapes. <laughs> Keep thinking. That's how I'm going to finish it. I can see this skillet is not going to be worth the crap, but. I gave a dollar for it at the thrift store. I had to do a video just to show the gear that I bought and how much I paid for it. I've got very little invested. I had a lot of people help me. The tent was donated to me by uh, good friends of ours from Tulsa. Thank you, Ashley and Travis. I don't know what we'd do without y'all. You're always there for us. Uh, the sleeping bag was community thrift store at Stigler, Oklahoma. It was $10. It's a real thick, old timey, old fashioned one. The zippers was in good shape. Came with a pillow and a sheet set in it. Um, I have other cookware. I'll do a video of it all. 
I have very little invested in all my stuff. I got seventy dollars invested in a little camera that I'm still figuring out. I hope to get it up here and running after a while.